the ingredients of the Mentos that would make this cool geyser effect. But it's in fact a physical reaction. It's a physical reaction called nucleation. And you can see nucleation in action if you just put your finger inside a cup of pop. You will see bubbles forming along the ridges of your finger. And what's happening is you've got all of this carbon dioxide, you've got all of this fizz inside the soda bottle. It is looking for somewhere to go. It wants to get out of the soda, out of the pop. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, got, I got school today. We're from, we're from Buckfield, Maine. We say soda. We have learned today it's all about pop. <laughs> so when, you, when uh, you've got all this, carbonation, all this carbon dioxide, all this fizz inside the pop, it's looking for somewhere to go. It grabs onto anything bumpy that it can find, like the ridges on your finger. Well, it turns out that Mentos mint candies are sprayed with over 40 layers of liquid sugar. Now that makes them not only extremely tasty, but extremely bumpy. If you look at them under a microscope, you'll see literally hundreds of thousands of tiny microscopic bumps. And that means that when you drop those Mentos into a bottle of pop, there are hundreds of thousands of places for the bubbles to grab onto. You get bubbles forming upon bubbles. All of that carbon dioxide is released a half a second later. It's got to go somewhere. All that pressure sends it flying out the mouth of the bottle. And because it's a physical reaction, you can drop just about anything into a bottle of pop and get some kind of reaction. Let's take a look. So when we were figuring this out for ourselves, we wanted to test it out. So the first thing I did is I dropped a stack of pennies into the soda, just to see if we get any reaction. Because if it really was not chemical, but a physical reaction, I thought I ought to see something. So we've got a stack of pennies. See if you can see any reaction. Three, two, one. So it's not the geyser that we get with Mentos, but you can see even pennies give you something. And that's a hint that it's something physical, that it's not the chemicals that are in the ingredients in the Mentos. It's the shape of the surface of what we're dropping in there. So we thought we'd try a different candy. Here we've got peanut M&Ms. Three, two, one. Blub, 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 blub. We think maybe it's gonna go still. One of the things you notice with the, with the, uh, the candies and things we drop in that, aren't, that don't react fast, they don't go very high, but they take a really long time. All that, that's the same amount of CO2. So here, it's starting now, just now to bubble out the top. <laughs> because it's the same amount of energy in there, it's just not happening, and happening as fast. So it doesn't go as high, but it lasts, that's lasting for 30, 45 seconds, I think. Yay! And just to compare, we have the exact same nozzle with Mentos inside. Three, two, one. Nice. The other question we often get is, why diet? Yeah, everybody's going, well, does it have to be Diet Coke? Does it have to be Coke Zero? The answer is, any fizzy beverage will work, including those made for adults. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Anything that has carbonation in it will create some kind of reaction. But again, there's a little bit more carbonation in the diet sodas, a little bit more bang for the buck inside Coke Zero and Diet Coke. That means we get a little bit bigger geysers out of this kind of soda. But the biggest reason we like to use Coke Zero and Diet Coke is... It's easy to clean up! There's no sugar. It's not sticky. And given that we are about to get soaked to the skin in Coke Zero, we appreciate that it's not sticky. And we don't get attacked by bees and ants and everything like that. We can just wash it right away. But if you want to do this yourself, the biggest thing you need to know is how to make big, big geysers. And surprisingly, the secret is not how many Mentos you drop in or what kind of soda you use. It's what the temperature of your soda is. When we were first doing this, we saw some one bottle demos of people doing it in their driveways. And we tried it. And these guys were in Florida and Arizona. And we were in Maine. And it was March. And it's a lot like March in Michigan. So it was cold, and our geysers were about four inches tall. And then we figured out it was the temperature, and we warmed them up, and the geysers were great. So when you do this yourself, don't use soda out of the refrigerator, which is going to be tempting, because that's where most of us keep our soda. Pop. <laughs>
We've got a bottle here of cold soda, cold pop that's been in, the, in a bucket of ice for about two hours. And we have one that's been sitting in the sun. And we're going to let you guess which is which when we pull the pins. Three, two, one, pull. <laughs> Everything's identical there except the temperature of the soda. So when you do yours, use nice warm soda. And we have a really warm day today. So all of these bottles have been cooking on this black stage for about two hours. And we should get some really nice reactions. Now before we get started, we want to let you know about uh, our website, about evbird.com. We explore most of all how ordinary everyday objects can do extraordinary things. So. You'll see videos of our experiments with a quarter of a million sticky notes. You'll see our, uh, from just last year, the Coke Zero and Mentos rocket car. Yes, we took all the power, all of the Coke Zero that you see up here on the stage right now, we put it onto a utility trailer welded to the front end of a bicycle. Oh yes, and it sent me rocketing, well, rocketing is a relative term. It sent me rocketing down the street 221 feet and we can let you guys at Maker Fair know that we are just about two weeks away, two weeks away from testing the Rocket Car Mark II. We have made it, we have made it smaller, lighter, faster. We have the technology, it's going to be more dangerous, it's gonna be awesome. So keep your eyes on evbird.com for all of our latest crazy experiments. If you are here tomorrow, you can do your own one bottle mini rocket car, we'll show you how to do that. Um, over on the other side of Maker Fair. Last thing to let you all know. At the end of this show, we will have 115 bottles of slightly minty flavored flat soda. If you would like a souvenir to take home of your time here at Maker Fair Detroit, come on up to the sides of the, up to the corners of the stage, line up. We will hand them out as quickly as we can. Do do Remember that we have 115 bottles. There are slightly more than 115 of you here today. But we hope that uh, a bunch of you will go home with a souvenir of your time here at Maker Fair. Um, and I think that's about it. We are ready to rock and roll. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Let's make a really big mess. Maker Fair!